Hello, Gemini, and welcome to Lotus Spirit Tarot. My name is Shannon Colleen. Um, this is going to be a timeless message from Spirit. However, if you are watching this before the end of February of 2024, I do want to let you know that I am offering half-off personal readings and Reiki sessions. So, Gemini, if you would like to take advantage of that, click on the link in the description box below. It will take you to my booking site. Click book now, and that is going to uh, open up a page that shows you all the different readings I offer in Reiki sessions. So when you book, um, it's going to show the regular prices. Once you do book, I send you an email that reflects that half off, okay? So let's get into your message here. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for Gemini, please? What is the overall energy for Gemini? Please show us, ooh, <laughs> please show us clearly. Thank you. All right, Gemini, let's see what we have here. Ooh, confidence. I love this. So, wow, stepping into a newfound confidence, really working that solar plexus chakra, feeling good, walking tall, um, feeling good. I mean, in like all areas, this is just really energetic energy. So, like I said, you know, physically you're feeling good, you're looking good. Mentally, you're right on point, very sharp. Uh, and emotionally too, right? Just that it's not cockiness, right? That's a whole different thing. It is true confidence and stepping into it. I can achieve anything. I've got wings to, you know, set me free, let me fly. This is a beautiful energy. A lot of you are, uh, that are single are stepping out and you're going to get very, very noticed, Okay, um, but also, like, if you're interviewing for a certain job, you stand out, okay? If you are running your own business, you, you stand out from any competition. This is just really good, solid energy, and I am here for it, Gemini. I am here for it. Woo, let's get into the tarot. Um... Also, Gemini, don't forget to check your other placements too, right? Your moon, your rising, your Venus. A lot of people have been really connecting with their rising sign. So if you're like a Pisces rising, go watch that reading. Um, this is nice. This feels good. I got a lot of Gemini friends. I'm going to have to hang around them <laughs> this week. <laughs> uh, show me clearly. What is the message, please? Angels, guides, ancestors. What is the message for Gemini? Sorry, this is like one of my favorite decks and I've had it for like ever. You can see it's all bent up and beat up. Oh, but it speaks to me so. Show me clearly, please. Show me clearly for Gemini. What is the message for Gemini? Thank you. So your first card out, yeah. Oh my gosh, seven wands. That is the card for me as a reader that you stand out. Everybody's looking up to you. Um... Nobody can bring you down. It doesn't matter what they do, what they say. You are just like, whatever, you do you, I'm doing me. But honestly, like if you are looking for love, wow, get out there. If you're, you know, looking for a new career, put those resumes out. If you are an entrepreneur, make sure that you're telling everybody about your services. Like, honestly, wow. I'm not surprised to see it, but the Seven of Wands, but... Boy, is that a big confirmation there. Oh, what do we have for Gemini? Thank you. Yeah, I love it. What you put out, you're going to get back tenfold with the Six of Pentacles. You're putting out that confidence. You're walking tall, right? You are going to attract that in. So whatever you're attracting in, I'm not going to say that they're all going to be perfect, right? Because you're going to attract in some of the, uh, what do I, how I want to put that? Not the real deal kind of people, <laughs> okay? But there will be some situations, people, job offers, love offers that come in that really are going to give you exactly what you're putting out, which is awesome. And you're getting that back, right? This is not attracting that needy, you know, person with love that needs all sorts of, you know, whatever. 
attention and whatnot. No, no, no. This is like really attracting someone just as, as solid as you, a company just as solid as you are, clients that are just as solid as you are. It's awesome. I love to see this. Show me clearly for Gemini, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you are definitely, you are on fire. Uh, Ace of Wands, look at you. This brings you quite big, passionate, exciting um, beginnings, okay, opportunities from the divine. So, listen, I'm not going to play it down. If this is love, whoof, right? If this is romantic love, this is like, can't keep you our hands off each other. Very compatible in the bedroom, right? But again, if this is business, work, or any area of your life, um, this is something that is so attractive to you. You are attractive to it. And it is just a, a match, okay? This, this is the match. I'm loving this. Angels, guides, ancestors, show us... I can even ask. Yeah, I love this too. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles is like, I feel like, and you can tell me in the comments, that you've kind of reinvented yourself. You've been kind of maybe held back a little bit, solitude, a little, you know, hermit mode, so that you could plant new seeds for yourself. Maybe some of you have changed your physical appearance. Maybe some of you have changed your resume, right? Um, changed your website if you have a business. But I feel like you've been planting new seeds, right? And they're about to flourish. They are about to flourish. And I think it might shock you a little bit, Gemini. Um, I usually tell this story because it will help resonate with you. In the courtyard, um, we have a gardenia bush and when it blooms it's kind of crazy it, like you go in the courtyard to have your cup of coffee in the morning and there's one bloom right there's just one smells great there's one and then the next morning you will come out and the whole bush is just full of blooms like crazy what happens overnight right and that's kind of what I feel is happening for you like you've taken a step back, you're reevaluated, you're like, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to look like, I'm going to change my hair color, get a haircut, whatever it is. Um, again, resumes or websites, just redoing things in the background to reinvent yourself, and it pays off. <laughs> and it pays off in a big way. Ah, show me clearly. Thank you. Maybe doing work on self-worth, right, which is why you... Why you uh, feel so passionate because you have, uh, what is that, uh, unconditional love for self. I think that really, <laughs> like, I want to just be all around Gemini, right? I do feel like you've had a whole new awakening perspective on things uh, with this hangman energy that you just thought, you know, it's kind of that feeling like, you know, when you, you pat yourself on the back. Or you say something really good about yourself and you're like, well, if I don't do it, nobody else is going to do it. So yeah, I'm going to look in the mirror and be like, damn, you look good today. Right? It all starts with you. And I think you have come to that conclusion, if you will, that it does. It all starts with you. And so <clears throat> this is like a major turning point for you. Show me clearly for Gemini, please. Whoa. Yep. Yep. You've been guided. You've been guided to make these changes, right? The Six of Swords is when spirit guides us to calmer waters, to what I normally call Paradise Island back here. And it's like you were guided to make these changes from spirit, right? They, they came knocking at your door and they're like, hey, it's time to up level. And look at all the success that comes in with this. I mean, the chariot is fast moving energy. So again, about to bloom right? It's about to really pay off and bloom for you in whatever area of life this is. And even more so that I love because I just looked at it. So we got to show it. Ace of Swords, right? The clarity that you have. This is a card of victory also, right? So the clarity and the passion that you have for self now is emitted out into the world in many forms, right? Many forms such as 
uh, beauty and good looks and, you know, feeling good physically, work, you know, it's just, damn, <laughs> damn, Gemini. Woo. Show me clearly for Gemini, please. Thank you. All right, Gemini, what do we have here? Oh, meditation. I knew it. I knew you had taken time off somehow, some way. Uh, take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. Don't stop doing that, right? Um, but really, I feel like this is almost saying, yeah, the hangman, they took time out. Take time out. Gemini took time out. And if you haven't, you should, okay? <laughs> if you haven't, then this is a message saying take a little time out, reinvent yourself, um, and then put it out there. Ah, how awesome is this? All right, Gemini, don't forget to like, share, comment. I read each and every one. Book your appointment to get that half off. And all of my love, light, and blessings to you until next time.